Welcome back to the channel guys! In today's video, we're going to be going over more tips for Fallout 76. As you may know, Fallout 76 can be a very complex game, and once you start playing it, you quickly realize you have only just begun to scratch the surface. One mistake players often make is Under Armour is a commonly overlooked tool that can be improving your character. So, are you wearing Under Armour? Let's get into why you need it and how to get it. So Under Armour is a very unique piece of apparel that can be found in-game, it can be bought, crafted, and even modded. Under Armour is more commonly worn underneath in-game outfits, however, it can be worn as an outfit by itself, and when worn this way will display all of your armor so everyone else can see it. Why do you need it though? You need it because it provides more protection from the dangerous wasteland, giving damage resistance, energy resistance, and even radiation resistance. It can also give a much needed boost to your special. Yes, your special. Why not maximize all the benefits the game gives you? With so many options available, let's discuss some of the differing types as they all offer their own benefits. There are several different types such as vault suits, raider suits, casual Under Armour, and many others. There are also five different mods that can be applied to Under Armour. Standard, of course, Treated, Resistant, Protective, and Shielded linings all can be applied to Under Armour. The best mod all around, though, in all categories is Shielded with Protective lining coming in a close second. However, for the sake of this video and time, we will only be discussing those that provide the most protection from all the dangers that lurk or out in the wasteland. However, depending on your build, you may want to use a casual Under Armour to help you level up, or a Raider's Under Armour to, for your Commando build. First up, let's discuss some of the best Brotherhood Under Armours available. So there's Brotherhood Fatigues, Brotherhood Knight Suit, the Brotherhood Officer Suit, and the Brotherhood Soldier Suit. All of these Under Armors require the same plans to mod them. So how do you get these plans? The Brotherhood of Steel Protective Lining Under Armor plan is received through the quest Defiance Has Fallen, and the Shielded Lining Brotherhood of Steel Under Armor plan has a 5% chance to be rewarded from technical data or from the quest Breaking Radio Silence. All of the before mentioned Brotherhood Under Armors provide the same protection and buffs. With the protective lining granting 10 damage resistance, 8 energy resistance, and 4 radiation resistance, it also gives you 2 special buffs, 2 to your strength, and 3 to endurance. The shielded lining has 13 damage, 9 energy, and 5 radiation resistance, with 2 to strength and 3 to endurance as well. Now that you know the types and benefits of these mods, how can you get the Under Armour? Brotherhood Fatigues unfortunately cannot be crafted, but instead they're found in World. The Knight Suit can be crafted after learning the plan the Brotherhood of Steel Knight Uniform, or it can be found in World at Thunder Mountain Power Plant. The plan drops from random enemies or treasure maps in the Cranberry Bog. The Brotherhood Officer Suit can also be crafted after learning the Brotherhood of Steel Officer Uniform Plan, or the BOS Officer Uniform Plan. The plan can be found the exact same way as the Knight Suit, Unfortunately, the suit cannot be found in World, so it is a craft only item. The Brotherhood of Steel Soldier Suit is learned from the Brotherhood of Steel Soldier Uniform Plan. Big surprise there! This Under Armour is craft only, and the plan can also be found on enemies or at treasure maps in the Cranberry Bog. That concludes the best of the Brotherhood of Steel Under Armour. Let's move on to the Forest Operative and the Urban Operative Under Armours. There's no plan for either the Forest or the Urban Operative Under Armors, unfortunately, but the Forest Operative or uh, Urban Operative Under Armors can be rewarded or bought. The outfit can be bought from the Enclave at the White Springs Bunker. It's available for purchase only 50% of the time. When I actually went over to the White Springs Bunker to actually find these Under Armors, the 50% of the time basically meant one time I went in and I got the Urban, the next time I went in and I got the Forest, but they were never there together. At least not for me. I tried about six times. The mods for these Under Armors are slightly different from previously discussed ones, but both Under Armors use the same mod plans. The Shielded Lion Operative Under Armor plan is found at Tangra Town. 
However, this plan can also be purchased. This is where it really starts to deviate, guys. In order to purchase this plan, you have to already know the treated lining, the resistant lining, and the protective lining operative Under Armour plans. Once these are all learned, then and only then can you purchase the shielded lining operative plan from Modus at the White Springs Bunker. Once the plan is learned, it will no longer be available for purchase, though. The Shielded Forest and Urban Operative Under Armors provide 9 damage, 13 energy, and 5 radiation resistance, and 3 to strength, 2 points to perception. Before we get into the last Under Armour on our list, if you've enjoyed this video or learned something new, make sure to give us a big Vault Boy thumbs up and consider dropping a nuke on that subscribe button. Alright, I've been saving the best for last, of course. The Secret Service Under Armour is by far one of the best Under Armours in the game as far as damage resistant and special buffs go. It is craft only after learning the Secret Service Under Armour plan. This plan can be bought with Gold Bullion from Reg at the Secret Service or Minerva. The plans for the mods are bought the same way, from the same people. It cannot be traded though. The Shielded Secret Service Under Armour provides 15 damage, 15 energy, 15 radiation resistance, as well as 4 strength, 2 to perception, and also for to endurance. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to visit Minerva starting this Monday, May 15th to get the Secret Service Under Armour plan. However, you'll have to wait a few weeks before the Shielded mod will be available again. I would like to personally thank each of you for watching and to the Death Claws, the best channel members alive. I love you guys. I'll see you in the wasteland.